for those who know me, you know that I've been a gamer my whole life, since 1986. It all started with the original Atari and the Nintendo, the regular Nintendo. And um, I remember back in 1991 when the Street Fighter arcade cabinet first arrived in my local convenience store. Well, I can't even call it a convenience store, it was like a, a corner store. You know, those stores you get your little 25 cent bag chips and your hugs and your five cent candies. Yeah, back in the day, that's how cheap it was to get a snack. One dollar would get you far. I just remember walking in there and playing Street Fighter 2 for the first time and getting hooked. I was drawn to the graphics. I was drawn to the gameplay. It was nothing really else like that. You know what I mean? Because back then, most arcade games are like Donkey Kong, Pac-Man, Golly, games like that. Street Fighter 2 was like a whole different dimension. One-on-one -on -one fighting game, two people going head to head, people popping in quarters, going in and out the store. You got people in there, you know, and most of the time, a lot of the guys that'll be in there, they'll be like, you know, teenagers, young adults. They'll be in there smoking their cigarettes, drinking beer, got their bear in a brown paper bag, you know, that crowd. And uh, I was one of the, like, the young, the young bulls <laughs> that would be in there all the time, studying and watching other people play. And um, that was like the origins, my, my, my initiation into the Street Fighter scene. And I was never an expert player. I was just good enough to beat the game and beat some of my friends. Over time, the Street Fighter series would expand and continue to produce sequel after sequel. By 1994, a movie based on the game was released and it's considered one of those bad movies that has a cult following. And I was eight years old at the time and enjoyed every bit of it. Street Fighter and John claude Van Damme seemed like a match made in heaven for my eight-year-old brain. A year later, a video game based on the movie that was based on the game was released to arcades and home consoles, the Sega Saturn and Sony PlayStation. All right, so one day, I walk into a blockbuster video with my dad, and I look at the gaming section, I go to the PlayStation section, and there it is, Street Fighter, the movie, the game, sitting on the shelf. But it was just the box art. Because behind it, Smarty had already had rented the game out of it, so I couldn't get it for myself. And back then, if somebody had the game rented, we had to wait for it to return. So at that point, I moved on to other games as the years went by and completely forgot about getting the game altogether. Fast forward 26 years later, me and the family go to the local video game store, Game in Exchange. After walking around the store, picking up games that I wanted to buy, I walked up to the counter and I looked behind the case and I see the game that had eluded me for two and a half decades. Street Fighter, the movie, the game, staring right at me. I put everything down and immediately asked for the game. It was in great condition too, for a 26 year old game. It almost felt brand new. There it is, finally got it. It's one of those things where I feel like I found a treasure a gem of my childhood. And these are things that don't happen too often, especially now with a gaming, collecting, um, it, it's becoming more of a, a problem with these prices being getting higher and higher. A lot of game collectors, they just get the games just to put on their wall, just to sit there and say, I got it. Well, the games that I collect, I actually play them. And I've been waiting 25 years 26 years for this. Adding this game to my collection in this condition was something I was not expecting. It makes me wonder 
what other games I can find that passed me by over the years. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.